Hello there, this is Jack D. Herbert, and welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Now we are entering the level of Treasure Trove Cove. This actual level is what I consider the one which has my favourite music, because this music is just really good. Like, oh, uh, fuck! God, that's not a good start. Fucking snacker comes and bites my shit. Piss off, stupid shark. There we go. So I need to get this ginger underwater, and the problem is there is, of course, a shark in the water. This shark does like to bite my feet. Get away from me. There we go. Okay, so on this level, we will be discovering two more abilities, and these red feathers come into one of the abilities, and this is going to explain. Wee, I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly, which she knows how. Yes, that's one of the abilities we're going to learn on this level, is how to fly. But first, let's talk to this huge crab guy. He doesn't look too friendly. Hey, this Nippers Beach. You find nothing without Nippers help. Help us then, crustacean brain. The cheesy bird needs further clipping. Oh yeah, just try it, shellhead. Bring it. Ah, right, so easy enough. You just go up to him and you peck his eyes. You do it three times, like the norm, and you'll see he just... Oh, Christ. Big hands, and then he just retracts into his shell, and the prize is located inside said shell. So let's enter the shell. And here we have some notes, and I hear some crabs as well. I also like the how the music changes, but it's the same song, but it's a bit different based on the area you're in. Like, the, like in here, it's a lot slower, and... Ah, crabs! Piss off crabs, there you go. Give me health, yeah, there we go, and eggs too. And also over here we have the main prize, which is a jiggy, which of course we need to get all of. Oh yeah. Now, okay, now we can leave this place and never return because, unless I die, because if you die, you lose all your notes. Because on the N64 version, if you die, you lose all your notes, because just the notes go. On the Xbox remake, which is literally just a remake, which is worth picking up if you own an Xbox. It's on the Xbox Live Arcade. Uh, you actually keep all the notes. The notes are safe, but there is one game-breaking bug that comes from that, which I'll explain later in case you decide to play this on the Xbox version. Now, on the ship over this boat over here, there's a, a guy here who's not very happy by the, by the looks of it. What's up? What's the problem, man? Oh, hi there. I'm a Captain Blobber, and I lost my treasure when my ship crashed. Well, go find it then, blubber guts. Oh, but I can't swim. Can you help an old sea hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. And easily enough, it's inside his bloody ship. Can't be bothered to look inside there himself, so we go in there and get it for him. You can see some gold on the other side. That's not the piece we're getting. First, we're getting the piece over this side. There we go. Oh, hi there. I'm the blubber's treasure. Doing some crazy voices this time. Oh, well. Sometimes that would be fun to do. But there is also a Ecom Bokum token under here. There is no actual like use for the Ecom Bokum tokens on this level. Because they're not actually on every level. I think there's maybe five levels which use them. Let me think. There's one, two, three, four. Four. I think four. I don't know. I didn't want to go in there. Get out! Now we can enter the other side of the ship and get the other piece of gold. That's where I'm heading to. Next in, it's just down here, under the water. Funnily enough, when I first played the game, it took me ages <laughs> to find this hole. I'm not entirely sure why. This quite, seems quite obvious nowadays. Okay, and grab more notes. I want all the notes. Make some songs with these notes. Or just, you know, open note doors, as the norm is. Now with these two pieces of gold, I can give it to him and he can give me a gold prize. If you haven't guessed what the prize is, then you clearly haven't been paying attention to what this game is all about. Because it's gonna be a jiggy. I mean, what else was it going to be? Hey, mate, here, have your gold. Take it. Now, piss off. My treasure! Thank you, my hotties. Take this reward. I'm out off to spend, spend, spend. Hopefully he can find somewhere to cash that into money. Cash my gold, yeah! Now, grab the jiggy. Uh -huh. If I climb up here, isn't there like an Ekin Bokum token hit? Yes, there is. Yeah. Now I can climb up the mast. That is the mast, isn't it? That's what you call it. I think. Probably. I don't know. Cut these and go down and grab the other ones. Oh dear. And now up here I can... Un Look, it's an ability. What do you have to give me? 
This is your big chance, chicken legs. It's time for you to fly. At last, it better be easy, bow guys. Bogey eyes, even. Bog eyes, I don't know. Just stand on a flying disc and press A. Here's 25 red feathers to help you into the air. See you. Well, thank you, bottles. I also hear a ginger up here, so give me the ginger. Thank you. And time to fly. She's seeing flying costs you feathers. There is a treasure chest over here. You need some red feathers to fly. Yes, you press A to fly up higher. Hey, look, it's a treasure chest. I think this one's going to talk, but I need to wait for bottles to finish speaking. This will grant Hilda's booty. Touch it if you dare. And I completely bollocks that up and fell down. And there is a shark! Get away from me! No, 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 no. Piss off. You piss off too. Bloody clams. Yeah, so Gruntilda's booty. Hmm. I'm just saying. <laughs> Multiple meanings for that word, you know. I'm not sure whether that was intentional, but I'm kind of guessing it is. Based on some of the other things that happens in the game. Either way, let's grab these notes from the treetops, and then I'm gonna go actually get that. Actually, I'll go get that later. For now, I'm gonna come up here and get this ability. Hey, this is Kazooie's shock jump disc. Find me, and I'll tell you how to use it. Hmm. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, and then press and hold A. Nice going, you've learned all the Ko's new moves. Yeah, now, look at look at the pad, right? Okay, you can't really see it from this, but from here, you can see, it's clearly supposed to be Kazooie's foot. It took me six years. No, wait, maybe nine, maybe probably ten years. That might, might be an exaggeration, but several years to realize that that's what it's supposed to be. I always thought it was supposed to be like a golden flying thing. I don't know why. There might be something wrong with me. Hey! Miliki. No good for water. Can bear block. Pull with pebble. Sure, let me shit a pebble in your ass. There you go. Leaky patched up. Now empty water for bear. Ooh. And I can now enter that sun castle. Which there is a black crab. Hmm. He doesn't look too friendly. I can also get onto the sand castle and grab these notes. <laughs> Sorry, I really like the music. And now into here. Hello there. Hey, Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. Okay. Well, I see a word saying Banjo Kazooie on the wall, so I'm going to try typing that in using this. B. A. And then N. J. It's easy enough. Later on, sometime you can actually come back here to enter some cheat codes. They're not so much cheats in terms of like you can use it to progress the game or anything, because you actually have to unlock the cheats before you can use them. What? Uh, what am I looking for? Z. There we go. <laughs> some reason I was looking for an N. Don't know what's wrong with me. And then one more O should be over here. Yep. And kazoo E, so I and then E, and that's job done with 62 seconds to six, 60 seconds to spare because I screwed up. The gate opens to reveal your prize, but first I'll cut you down to size. I don't even know what. Ow! You shithead! Oh fuck! This is not going good. Die! There we go. And now I can grab a jiggy. Excellent. <laughs> That's three, three jiggies in this level. That means there's seven more to get. Easy enough. I will be returning there at some point, but that's for another time. So for now, let's go and let's go up back up here and actually use the shock pad thingy that we just unlocked. This one, yeah. There should be a bunch of stuff, including musical notes, which is. Arguably the it's the second most important item in the game. Most important obviously being the the jiggies, because well jiggies are needed to unlock the levels. But then again, the notes are needed to unlock the doors to the levels anyway, so it's debatable. Either way, there's a jinjo, which also is important because that leads to a jiggy. Also there is a crab die crab, there we go. Grab these notes. Be coming back here in a minute anyway, so it doesn't really don't really need to come here, but oh well. 
Let's grab, there's another jiggy just uh, up here along these shock pad jump thingies, whatever you call them, shock pad jump pads. Shock pad jump pads, yeah, that works, whatever. Jiggies! Blah, 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 blah. Brilliant. Now, isn't there like some musical notes in this chest down here? There is. Hey, I remember. Give me, give me your, ow, that's not a friendly time. Get in the mouth of the chest. Give me all the musical notes, get out of the chest, and then ooh, everything is happy. Now I'm going to go back up to the chest where there was a jiggy inside, because I need that jiggy. Because I completely missed it last time, because I'm a complete idiot, funnily enough. Where's that flight pad? Here it is. Let's go. As you can see, uh, now let's see. So, yep, there's a jiggy inside this one, so... This is, I think this was supposed to be the hardest one to get into, but it's pretty easy, just like all of them. Yeah! <laughs> that golden treasure was for me. Now harder still, the game will be. Fourth wall breaking much? Never mind. Now I want to go up to the top of the, of the cove, so there is a little tunnel up here. Which you can... Oh, there's a note here as well. Give me the note. Thank you. Now up to the top of the mountain. I guess it's a mountain. I'm not sure. And the music stops in this area because we're so high up. Hey, Mr. Yum Yum. Die. There we go. They're called Yum Yums, I think, because they eat your stuff if you get hit by them. Like, I'll, get, I'll show you just for demonstration's sake. Look. Nice snacks for Yum Yum. See? It's still your eggs and... Eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon? What? Eggs and feathers. Don't know why I said bacon. Maybe I'm hungry. I don't feel hungry. Oh, oh god. Oh, for a second. Oh shit! I thought I fell off. Uh, and I kind of did, but never mind. Anyway, there is still more stuff up here. Don't take that shock pad, because if you do, you will miss these eggs, but that's not important. But you will also miss these notes, which is important. So don't take that shock pad. It's a trick. The shock pad is a trick. Now... There is also a bitch switch around the back here. That's what I always call these things. There you go. And this one shoots a jiggy out of a cannon. That's that's a really easy jiggy to get. There's nothing special. You just let you go out, jump on a cannon, and walk walk along. So I'll grab, go inside this, inside the lighthouse. And there is a shock jump pad up. Oh, there's, oh, there's notes as well. Give me the notes. I like I like notes. They make make me happy. There's also jiggies that also make me happy. Give me. Thank you very much. Woohoo! Now, if I proceed down. I can head back down. I don't want to fall to my death. But I do want to go down this tunnel again. This is where I came from. And head to the right, because I haven't been over this area yet. Oh god, it's Snacker again! Coffee and mints, I'll be right over. Hey, stay away from me, I don't want your stuff. These, these are really an awkward to get. You can't really walk up it. You can't walk up the steps too well either, so you just glide along. Now this guy, I believe, has Ecom Bokum tokens. That was not exactly how I wanted to get in there. Hey! There we go. You can book on tokens. Yes, give me. Let me out. There we go. Now just a few more, a few more notes up here, and then I. Ah, balls. Okay, if I slide down here, back up here, I believe in this pool at the bottom, there is a certain object. Yep, it's a jiggy. Funnily enough, that's what we need. Give me that. Thank you very much. Seven out of ten. There is a ginger at the edge of this tu tunnel. What? Ledge, I guess is the word. Hey, give. Oh, and it. That has a jiggy too. Excellent. Yeah. Jiggy, jiggy, jig, 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 jig. That's the jiggy song. I copyrighted it myself. Only I didn't. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh well. I'm gonna come down, grab these notes. Wow, that must have really hurt being crushed from that height. Okay, uh. Now, over, is there, I can't remember, is there an Ecom Bokum token under the water, or is it a life? It's an Ecom Bokum token, so I'm gonna go get it. 
Now oh, I almost sounded like I hit the hit the ground there, rather than the water. Oh God, get away from me! Oof. Okay. Now we need to go all the way back over there. So, so uh, oh, I don't want to forget these notes. Blame, blame me. Three more notes over here. Oh God, don't screw that up. And there's, I think, three more over here. And that's, is that all of them, or is it up? There's another three over there. And there's six more notes. Okay. Now, I know it looks like I'm really close to finishing the level, but I'm going to need to ep end the episode here. So there is a few more things I need to do in this level, and there's also things I need to do in the overworld. So I'll cover those in the next episode. So for now, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.